Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. As you guys saw by the title, we'll be doing the video we do every month. My monthly makeup haul for the month of July. I love these videos honestly so much. I know you guys love them. So let's just jump right in. We don't need to talk that much. First, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Without further ado, let's just get started. All right, first things first, <laughs> I think I placed some purchases at the end of June, um, but again, I count them toward this kind of cycle. Um, I needed these, like, and I'm so glad that I picked these up. These are the AOA Studio Locked Creamy Concealers. Um, I have two different shades because they only cost $188. <laughs> they were $2. I paid $4 for two concealers. Like, that's amazing. Um, so I got the shade MW1 and the shade MN1. The, the color that I have been wearing the most is MN1. Now, it literally is just this creamy freaking concealer. And honestly, I was wearing, I'm wearing the Kosas concealer today. I'm like, these are honestly super comparable. They're super creamy. They look so good under the eyes, but they don't look, um, what is the word? They don't look overly dewy or overly hydrating under the eyes. They just look fresh and beautiful and your under eyes look young. And uh, it's just so good. I'm like, I could talk about these for so long. My total, I paid $7.30 because of shipping um which is so stupid but for <laughs> shop my say um and i honestly 10 i'm sorry yeah shop my say but i honestly 10 out of 10 recommend go get these like literally asap asap they're so good okay next i picked up one of like my favorite products this month this is the rare beauty um uh, brow harmony precision pencil in the shade deep brown um i like got this instantly i was like oh i'll just buy this from like the um, collection she came out with. I love this brow pencil. Here's the color here. Um, I just think it is so easy and it's so creamy. The shape of it is perfect too. Like I'm a, this is my favorite shape brow pencil uh, hands down. So it's like an oval um, but like you can still get precise edges um, but then it just like takes filling in the rest of your brows so easy. The spoolie on this is nice as well. It's not like hard or anything. It's actually really soft and it feels so good in the brows and everything about this it's weighted. It feels so luxe. Um, I paid $20 and 52 cents in total for this. Um, which is amazing. <laughs> I'm like, yes, please like come on. You'll notice too, like most of this month I probably picked up like one product each order which I'm like patting myself on the back what but because normally I'll try to like if I may play I'll, <laughs> I usually convince myself like if I'm placing an order like might as well go big or go home basically is what I try usually convince myself I'm like well if I'm placing an order might as well like use Clarina and then just use like spend $35 or $40 or whatever and then it'll be fine I'm like come on girl <laughs> you can't be doing this so um i'm really happy with just buying one thing especially from like shop my say too i'm like it's only a dollar like what's a dollar gonna change but i only picked up those two things like yes <laughs> okay then i went to target so i explained this a while ago but if you guys don't have never heard of the fetch app i have my little like link down below that if you want to sign up you could sign up so it actually like you can scan receipts and get points you can scan any receipt though you can scan mcdonald's the grocery store um any freaking receipt gas station any receipt i've had some apps that you can only scan like grocery store receipts no this one you can scan any receipt they do like bonuses as well where they have like um like if you buy certain amount of dollars in like uh gum you get extra points this is not sponsored in any way but <laughs> i needed an, a few extra points to get like a bonus a nyx bonus because i had bought my friend some stuff for her birthday and so uh, i needed like a few extra products and i was like oh crap so i just bought this um this is the nyx lip pencil in the shade natural i honestly have to use this way more i was gonna put it on but i don't need to um because this is so gorgeous look at it here it is such a pretty color it is really like your lips but better kind of color um i paid 4.99 for this like <laughs> i was just like i need to spend a certain amount of money and i didn't want to spend like too much money <laughs> but i just got so i just got that and it was like perfect so i need to use it way more but that's the only thing i got that day so right now we're totaling about 33 dollars which again it's not bad. It was only by July 4th, but it's okay. It's okay. Fret not. This month I'm really happy with, is all I can say. Okay, then I placed a Glam Light order, and I honestly, if I could have returned these, I would. <laughs> because honestly, it took so long for me to get these. Weeks and weeks. I placed the order on the 9th. I don't think I got these until like the uh, 20th. I didn't get these until the 24th. I'm like, that's a long time. And the thing is that 
I, I like I under uh, it's like we've got we got so not privileged in a way but we get so like used to you know Sephora's pretty decent fast shipping like especially when Sephora did like the free two-day shipping like amazing like so we get obviously Amazon Prime is so quick Ulta doesn't take long Ulta's the longest out of like most of these places but like it doesn't take long necessarily so we got spoiled basically so it was really annoying when they didn't come until the 24th the other thing that pissed me off is that I sent them an email it this was before it shipped and I was like hey can I cancel my order um it hasn't shipped yet Blah, blah, blah. No one got back to me. Literally the next day, it shipped. <laughs> and so I'm like, these people are like playing a game, huh? Like, that's what it seemed like. Like, they're not going to answer me and then they're going to just ship my thing. So like, obviously now I can't return it. Um, and either way, I looked at Glam's like, Glam Lights like, um, questions or whatever. Like, you usually get asked. So apparently like, you can't even, like, you are you can't cancel order once it's placed. You can't like, uh, return it after it's shipped. Like, all these things. And I'm like, whatever so i was just pissed off i was like honestly i won't be buying from them unless i really really want something and even then i'm like i you just put a bad taste in my mouth no one has, still has not answered me to this day and obviously like um it shipped and came to me so whatever but like also you could just reach out and be like hey i'm so sorry like it didn't get back to you um blah blah blah, blah. like usually we don't ship whatever can whatever like some communication but no they was like they just literally ignore me they have not emailed me back so anyway i picked up both the like, glam light highlighters because they look so delicious um the one that i'm like really most excited for i haven't tried these yet by the way um, i'm thinking of saving them but um for like a video but I want, i'm so excited about the milk chocolate one actually after like seeing them because look how like stunning they look like that one is so delicious i really want to try it um that one looks a little bit dark but like honestly mixing them might be like perfect um and i was love glam lights shimmer formula so i was like their highlighter formula has to be superb you know so i'm excited to try it um i did open them both because i wanted to make sure like nothing was broke or anything like that because i would have just been floored if any like i was like that would be just my luck um and then i did get the cookies and cream one which i don't know if i'm gonna use <laughs> i know it's so annoying um but like it looks like super light skin to me i just don't know if it'll work for my skin tone and so even though i opened the package like i, I just don't know if i want to use that one and again, I was like, I honestly would have been very happy not getting these at all. <laughs> I shouldn't have bought them in the first place. I just was excited. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, look how cute. Like, I was really excited. And then, like, my excitement definitely down, like, felt, like, uh, dropped. And then, like, they put a bad taste in my mouth. And I was like, honestly, I don't even want them anymore. Like, don't even want them anymore. That's why I have no, like, haven't put them in a video recently either. Just because I have no, like, urge to use them. So I'm like, Ugh, whatever. So I paid $28 for these highlighters. <laughs> um, I got these on the 9th. Like I said, again, I didn't actually receive them until the 24th, but um, it's fine. You know, like, uh, we'll see. I think I will keep the chocolate one, maybe get rid of the, I'm sorry, the regular milk chocolate and get rid of the cookies and cream. I don't know. I don't know, though. Anyway, got those. It put me to about $60, which uh, it's not bad. I'm not saying anything other than their customer service is trash basically <laughs> well then Shein done did it to me so um Shein came out with a harry potter freaking collection you guys know how i feel about harry potter you guys know how i feel about makeup and you know how i feel about harry potter when they combine them it does something to my soul it is so cute so she glam came out with four eyeshadow palettes this is the hufflepuff one like first of all like look at all these details i love that for a six dollar eyeshadow palette like even just up here the color is so super cute everything about this is so cute um this is the slytherin one i do think obviously like four shades you can't do so much with four shades but i think that it was so fun if you only want to buy your house like just for the looks of it just for the packaging it's only six dollars it's not breaking the bank it is so cute um and i think that uh the formula is actually really good in these i've only used the blue one fully but um which is here ravenclaw but <laughs> the formula is actually really good compared to like the other she glam that formula that i've tried so it was honestly like just it's so exciting i needed that collection i honestly probably should have just picked up the um um <laughs> uh, eyeshadow palettes because they're just so cute am i going to use these every day absolutely not but they're so stunning um but i wanted to get a few more products because i wanted to do a little video with it which i did do 
I placed this order on 7-14, if you guys don't know, July 14th. Um, I didn't say that, so you wouldn't know. <laughs> but I did pick up a few more, like, a bunch of lip products. So they came out with the, this is, I don't need this. This is the Cauldron, like, lip mask um, from, again, She Glam. What are they calling it? Magic Cauldron Lip Mask. <laughs> this formula is just not like my favorite lip mask formula. You can even see in there, it's a little bit more of a jelly consistency, which is just not my like favorite. I like something a little bit more moisturizing, a little bit more like lotion texture, a little, not lotion texture, like lip balm texture versus jelly texture, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. So not my favorite, but it was super like fun and fresh. And obviously this is super cute. I also picked up, this is honestly, I pro I'm glad that I picked this up. Not for any other reason than it's just so much fun. This is the Gifted Herbologist Glitter Lipstick. They're like the mandrakes are on it, like the <laughs> screaming thingies. And um, here's the way this freaking looks. It's so pretty. It's so fun and fretch. Um, And then it does give a little bit, I don't even want to swatch it. But it does give a little bit of a like darker kind of tint. So it's not really like colored in a way. It's just like a darker kind of vibe. They called it black. So I guess it's kind of black, but really it's, it doesn't look black on the lips. <laughs> and anyway, and then last but not least, this is honestly like a terrible gloss formula. This is the, again, it's the Amortentia, Amortentia Magic Elixir Lip Gloss. This formula of lip gloss is just so, again, like kind of jelly-like. Like it feels like it's just like jam, but it also has like a silicone applicator, which is just not the cutest. Um, not the most, like, I just don't like it that much. I don't like the texture. The gloss didn't even look glossy. It ended up just being like, like again, like jelly. And so I don't know. It's not my favorite. Again, this packaging is super cute, but like it's not my favorite. Anyway, those lip products were not my favorite. The eyeshadow palettes were amazing. So I paid $33.88, which again, is not bad for like all, all those products, um, but they're from She Glam. So of course it's a little bit cheaper, um, but I really needed that. Like I was really excited about that. <laughs> all right, then the pro I at this point, I had spent $94, $95. I really wasn't going to go, like, over the top. I There was a couple products. There still is a couple products that are, like, you know, in my favorites. Or, like, I probably could purchase at one point. But there was no rush to purchase them. So, I was like, whatever. But then I saw this Sephora Favorites Kids drop. And I was like, oh, I need it. I need it. So, I bought the... I don't even know the name because I don't have the packaging here anymore. I was just going to show you the products. But I got the Gleamy Dreamy Makeup Set. So it is currently out of stock, but it was $49, $50. They have a couple other sets that are also like out of stock. They go out of stock really fast. So that's why I was like, oh, I'm buying it. Um, I think this was probably like a little, uh, what is the word? Like early release for app people who have the app. <laughs> but I'm just going to show you all the makeup products for, um, first. So I got the Summer Fridays uh, Lip Butter Balm. It came in that little kit in the shade Vanilla Beige. So freaking cute. Obsessed. Love that. It came with the Glow Recipe, Recipe Watermelon Glow Nice in my Dew Drops. I love these as well. So good. I've been using these as a primer and they look so good. It came with a little mini of the ABH Brow Freeze, which I do have a full size of this. Um, but the little mini is so freaking cute. <laughs> Um, then it also came with the Patrick Ta Major Volume Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade 2CCs. I love this stuff. I've been wearing it, like, um, to work in and stuff. It's so freaking comfortable. It's so pretty, but it does make your lips a little bit more plump and a little bit more juicy. Like, I'm obsessed. Like, obsessed with that, actually. It also came with a little Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. I love this setting spray so much. So good. I just had to get rid of mine. I said this a million times. I just had to get rid of mine because it turned uh, yellow. But <laughs> I love this setting spray so much. Also came with a little... Uh, this is actually full size of the Milk Makeup um, Matte Bronzer in the shade Baked. I love this. Oh my gosh. I like didn't know what I was sleeping on until... <laughs> I don't know. I used this again because I definitely did have used one of these before. I've used this color Baked and I've used the other color Blaze and like nothing hit the way this hit when I used it again. <laughs> and then also I have a little mini of the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I'm actually wearing this right now. Such a pretty mascara. I think it just gives you the prettiest girly wispy lashes that just look stunning. And then last but not least, it came with a full size lawless make me blush this is the shade indian summer this is so pretty again i'm wearing it a little bit on today um the focus is definitely the cream blush but i'm just popped a little tiny bit of this on i love this color i think it's so stunning i think it's better than the color i had in this formula um which is making me wear this formula a little bit more because i had a full size lawless blush and it wasn't my favorite formula but it is super pretty and i think the color really helped me out there um but that bag was 51 like i paid 51.94 
obviously the bag was only the forty nine dollars, but then tax and stuff. Um, so I paid fifty one ninety four. My total for the month, the total monthly spending was one hundred forty six dollars and sixty three cents. I honestly, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I my goal for a while was under one fifty, and I'm under one fifty, so we're taking it. I feel like as far as value for product, I got a great value because of all the sets I got. Um, like I'm just gonna show you like this this look at all these products that is a lot of products like honestly if I laid these in front of someone and said like would you pay $150 for I think like a lot of people would probably pay a lot a little bit more than that for this or they'd probably pay right around 150 um just depending on like the brands they like and stuff but I thought that was a great deal <laughs> anyway guys that is it for this video um I really hope you enjoyed it again I love these videos every month this is a shorter one this month just because honestly I've been wanting to cut my videos down a little bit um <laughs> not by much because I still want to chat and talk with you guys but um I do I don't want to make a 30 minute video every time because I do have to edit them and upload them and it's a lot of work <laughs> but anyway guys let me know if you still are loving these videos let me know also what else you picked up this month did we pick up any of the same products do you shop from glam light because <laughs> I might not do it again <laughs> let me know let me know on the juicy team that's it for this video guys I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time bye guys